Welcome to the spoken tutorial on constructors and destructors in C++. In this tutorial we will learn constructors, types of constructors, destructors. We will do this with the help of some examples. To record this tutorial I am using Ubuntu operating system version 11.10, G++ compiler version 4.6.1. Let us start with an introduction to constructors. A constructor is a member function. It has the same name as the class name. Constructors cannot return values. It is automatically called when an object is created. Types of constructors Parameterized constructors Copy constructors and Default constructors Let us move on to destructors. Destructors are used to deallocate memory. They are called when an object is destroyed. A destructor takes no arguments and has no return types. Let us see an example on constructors and destructors. I have already typed the code on the editor. I will open it. Note that our file name is cons-dest.cpp. In this program, we will perform the addition of two numbers using constructor. Let me explain the code now. This is our header file as iostream. Here we have used std namespace. Then we have class addition. A and B are the integer variables. These are the private members of class addition. Here we have the public specifier. Then we have the constructor addition. The constructor has the same name as the class name. We have passed two arguments here. Now we have defined a destructor. For this we use a tilde sign followed by the destructor's name. This is a public function add. It returns sum of a and b. Here we access the constructor using the scope resolution operator. a and b are private members. To access the private members we use x and y. Then we access the destructor. In this we print memory deallocation. This is our main function. Here we create an object obj of class addition. Then we pass two arguments as 3 and 4. 3 will be stored in x and 4 will be stored in y. This means a's value is 3 and b's value is 4. The constructor that has arguments is called as parameterized constructor. Hence this one is the parameterized constructor. Here we call the function add using the object obj and we print the sum. This is our return statement. Now let us execute the program. Open the terminal window by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. To compile type g++ space cons hyphen dest dot cpp space hyphen o space cons. Press enter type dot slash cons. Press enter. The output is displayed as sum is 7 and memory deallocation. Now let us see an example on default constructors. Come back to our program. I have already typed the code. Note that our file name is default.cpp. If a constructor is not declared in the class, then the compiler assumes a default constructor for the class. Let me explain the code. This is our header file as iostream. Here we have used std namespace. Then we have class subtraction. Then we have a and b declared as public. Here we have sub function. We have passed two arguments int a and int b. This returns the subtraction of two numbers a and b. This is the default constructor. Here we access the default constructor using the scope resolution operator. This is our main function. In this we have defined a variable x. Here we create an object s of class subtraction. Then we call the function sub using the object s and pass two arguments as 8 and 4. The result is stored in variable x. And here we print the difference. This is our return statement. Now let us execute the program. Come back to our terminal. 
Let us compile type G++ space default dot cpp space hyphen o space def. Press enter. Type dot slash def. Press enter. The output is returned as difference is 4. Come back to our program. Here you can see that we have passed the arguments within the function. And in our previous example, we have passed the arguments within the object. And here we have passed the arguments using the object. Now let us go back to our slides. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we learned constructors, example addition, parameterized constructor, example addition obj 3,4, destructors, example addition, default constructor, example subtraction. As an assignment, create a class named division, create a constructor for the class and create a function divide which divides two given numbers. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is Ashwini Patel from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.